Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel, the great social activist who marched with King, once asserted, we are a people in whom the past endures. Our oppression in Egypt lives within us. Our exile, our expulsion, our isolation, our internment, all inform our Jewish identity and our Jewish commitments. If we take that identity and those commitments seriously, we cannot regard the human tragedy unfolding on our borders, the horrific conditions to which migrant families seeking better lives for their children have been subjected with anything less than moral fury. And now we are informed that Sunday, Immigration and Customs Enforcement will undertake additional efforts in cities around the country, including New York, to pursue the undocumented. Our sacred narratives and historic experiences call upon us to respond, whether by participating in any number of rallies, including one downtown tonight, by volunteering with immigrant justice groups, or by writing members of Congress. Yesterday, I and three other of New York City's senior rabbis, informed by our deep conviction, rooted in Jewish and American values that we must love our neighbors as ourselves, sent the following to the New York Times. We are outraged by the deportation raids reportedly scheduled to begin in New York City on Sunday. These raids will terrorize our friends, neighbors, and families in the immigrant community, and they risk separating parents and children. Local law enforcement must refuse to participate or assist with these ICE actions. New York City has long welcomed immigrants from around the world. We won't stop now. We are a people in whom the past endures, said Heschel in whom the present is inconceivable without moments gone by. The exodus lasted a moment, a moment enduring forever. What happened once upon a time happens all the time. We won't stop now, not until all those fleeing oppression in their native lands are able to sing as the Israelites once sang on the shores of freedom's sea.